to ask you very politely, calmly, and nicely. To get out of bed! Morning all, how you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm Carl and this is Waterside Fishing Adventures. So we're off on another trip. We're off down the rocks and after some big rud and bream. So let's go and trial out some baits and see how we get on. Yeah! week on and we'll be on our way again. I've got various other baits with me as well. It's just one bait that I like to take with me. When I'm off down the rivers and lakes and stuff like that. So let's get parked up. I'll whip it and grab some corn. We'll get on with the rest of the journey. We're in the fishing car, so we're not worried about dents or nothing. <laughs> right, back in a minute. So, been in, got some sweet corn. So let's get on with the rest of the trip. Not too far, probably 15 minutes from here, maybe 20. And then we'll get the old gear out, get set up and see what we can catch. So let's keep going. Yeah.
pretty cold today. We've got two degrees on the gauge at the moment, which is a bit warmer than what I had when I got up. It was frozen, as you saw in the video. So you've got McDonald's on the left, you've got Roy's all around me, you've got a sandwich shop just down the bottom here called Crumbs. You've got all like kebab shops, chip shops, all that sort of stuff as well. Getting in there then.
to see what spots we got and see what we can catch. The old sun's absolutely blinding me, as you can probably see. But we're using the Drennan Big Feeder rod today. We got a 25 gram feeder on, size 8 hook with twin sweet corn baits on it. Casting out into the middle, and we're just going to sit back and we're just going to try and wait for some big fish today. Not after a big amounts or anything, we just want to catch a few, maybe nice size rod or some nice size bream something like that so we're gonna sort of wait it out and hopefully pick up a few so we mixed up some nice ground bait as you can see hopefully you can see through that sun <laughs> got sweet corn maggots uh, hemp all little bits and pieces in the actual ground bait so hopefully that will give us a hand on the feeder and start feeding up the swim and hopefully start getting a few bites so I'm watching the rod tip now. Hopefully things are going to start to happen. So this is what the setup looks like today. Just got the feeder up in the air on the rod rest. Slight bend in the tip. We're fishing just down the river. There's plenty of other anglers about. I can see what one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. There's another 12 people here, so there's a fair few people fishing. All down that end, all the way along there. In there, over there. Plenty of swans about as well, as you can see. There's also lots of anglers down there to my left. All the way along there, along the boats, and then down in front of the bridge. So there's plenty of people here. <laughs> Quite crazy. Hopefully, good luck to everyone. I hope everyone's going to get a few fish. There's a fair few people with the old pike floats and stuff out. I haven't just seen any pike landed, but I've seen a few coming up on the surface and smashing at the rod and roach. There's definitely some pike in the area, but there always is down here. And we're out on our first cast now, and hopefully, we'll start pulling in a few fish. We'll get a few casts out there, try and build up the swim a little bit, see if we can get a few bites. And let's see how we get on. So there we've got a nice bite, as you can see, everyone. Let's see if we can hit into our first fish on our first cast. That'd be good. Nice sharp little knocks, but it could be knocks fish taking bits out of the feeder and stuff. We'll wait for the tip to bang a bit harder than that. Hopefully, we'll be into our first fish. again. Is it going to go round or is that just fish attacking the feeder? I don't normally fish corn here, I normally fish worm baits and stuff like that, but and maggots, but I thought I'd try something different today. I've got some other baits with me as well which I can try. So let's see how we get on, let's have a food cast and see if we can connect with these and if not we'll go on to another bait. Fish on first cast, lovely jubbly. Just what we wanted. Just about swingable one this one. Not bad for the first cast though, it's what we're after. 
the bigger rod. So first cast, first fish. We <laughs> normal stuff flipping about on me. And there you go. Not a bad start. Getting covered in fish. Slime. <laughs> yeah, nice. Don't mind that for the first fish, pretty good. All right, let's get it back and see if we can catch more. Got a few swans coming in, everyone, as you can see. Chaps are feeding them out of their hands. <laughs> So we've got another bite everyone. Let's see if we can get it. Right everyone, so I snapped up, so I had to reset up again, and this is what I'm up to. Sweet corn back on with the hook. Let's get this one out and hopefully we won't find a snag. So I'm casting over just behind that little boat now, just near the engine. Rod's out over there, dipped in the old ground bait, feed is full, and we're now on the next cast. Fish on everyone, and 10 tonne of swans to bring it through. Playing dodgeball with the swans. Feels like a bream. Where's well, fighting? I don't know. It could be a what? Oh, really? Fish off. Have a bite everyone as you can see. Can we get a fish? We've got a happy chappy on his boat down to the left of us, so you can hear whistling away and talking. <laughs> it's really hot, I've got sunburn on my left side of my face.
Come on, boy. What's happening there? We might just be pecking at the feeder. Hopefully that's going to go flying round. Gotta bite again everyone. Are we gonna get this one? Get some clonk and takes. Pretty sure it's them rud. We just gotta hook up to one and fingers crossed us a big one. Fish on everyone. Might just be able to lift it without a nana. Nice size roach. Oh, nice. Yeah, lovely, yeah. And here he is. Not bad, is it? See if we can get a few more. Shame I ain't got the old keep now today, but I'm just putting them straight back. But we had quite a nice net full of good size. Broad spides coming in. I'm gonna do all the work on the rivers and stuff. Wherever it is. Probably a fish I had yesterday. That's bumping though, like that's a rod. It is. Look at what? Oh, oh really? Oh, there, do you see that? You are kidding me. It's the fish what got off. Look at that face. <laughs> Disappointment. Oh. Sorry about that. Somewhere around a two pound rod, I reckon. And I just said I'm coming off. Well, hello everyone. What's going on? I'm dropping two pound fish right in front of me. It's no good. I'm back out there again, so let's see if we can get one this cast.
quite gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's on its way down everyone, so might have a few casts after dark now and see if them big bream moving. Getting a bit quiet around here now. A lot of people are gone. There's still a few fishing down that way. And there's one chap down to the right. And there might be someone at the bridge, but I can't see him anymore. No, been, been, been sitting out there on big baits and just trying to get that big rudder or that big bream, but it's not happening at the moment. But we'll keep trying. Getting plenty of bites, as you can see, we've got one now. I just think the baits are too big for them to get it in their mouths when they're smaller. So they tug at it and obviously we don't hook them. I've just got a feeling there's some quite big rod down there over the three pound mark, it's just a case of how to catch them. As you can see, my rod's bouncing like mad. Yep, got this one. No, it's off, <laughs> really. This is what I'm on about, I think these baits are too big. Oh, bait's gone that, that time actually. Maybe up to crocodile. <laughs> Let's just try a single grain of corn and see if that made a difference, shall we? See if we can get a rod. <sighs> Here, Treat from Andy Tigger fishing. Cool, Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah, Leon. Oh, Daniel, there you go, everyone. Mr. Roach. Tea time, isn't it? No, not yet. It's a... Cheer over that bridge. Well, that's how I can't see nothing. nearly dark everyone a little boat across the road has put his lights on and we're just casting around the river trying to find a few bites now hopefully we'll pick up something big after dark we'll certainly give it a good go so everyone Pretty much dark as you can see, moon's out behind me, up in the trees there. As you probably know, I've been sitting on really big baits all day, and well, we had that one big rod which was sort of two, two and a half pound, and that's the sort of the biggest fish I've brought in but not landed. 
we had some okay sized roach and a food right in between. So we had the big, big fish have sort of avoided me today, but I'm doing my best. It's uh, dark now, and over there, I've got everything on the power pack and got some lights and stuff going. Hopefully, we'll catch a few fish after dark. We'll give it a couple of hours, see how we get on. Hopefully, I'll end on a decent sized fish. We'll certainly have a good go. So there everyone, we've been fishing in the dark for about 45 minutes or so now. Not a single bite yet. Still carry on for a little bit more and hopefully they'll come back in or keep feeding up. Still down on the bottom with the old sweet corn at the moment. Still got big baits on, double corn, triple corn, that sort of stuff. Hoping for that one big one, but you never know. So we'll keep trying. I'll spin you around and show the old boat all lit up with the Christmas lights and stuff on it. And we'll keep going on this ledger rod. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's what we're doing. You can probably see that in the light there. I'm just looking at me tip like that and hoping for a bite, but. Not a great deal happening, not to say. <laughs> We've got the light on in the background on the umbrella. It's very strange. Don't know how well you can see that everyone, but it sounds like someone's got a tractor engine in their boat. Have a listen to this. heard quite a helicopters and planes it's nice being down there at the moment but bites wise it's not too good it's not a tank isn't it <laughs> jeez
right everyone so i'm on my last cast i'm packing everything else up hopefully we'll get a fish but if not i'll be out on the lives and stuff again later on tonight once i've had something to eat and stuff as usual and i'll be out again over the weekend Ooh, right so let's see what happened yeah, it's getting very damp. Oh, you, so Hands are like know. ice. Wow, everyone. We're back in the car. Really hard work after dark. I think I had two bites in two and a half, three hours. So not too good after dark at all. Not so bad during the day. We had some nice fish and I lost three really good fish. One you saw just in front of the net, probably a two and a half pound rud. And a couple of plonking fish, which I reckon were... You know, really good size bream. Six, eight pound, yeah, and really nice bream, but that's a shame. It took me into a snag. But I went down there today with the point of just sitting there on big baits all day. Didn't want to catch a lot of fish, I wanted to catch some of the bigger fish. Now I tried all different baits, some my own made ones and stuff like that. And it sort of paid off because I did hook three really good fish. We also lost them three big fish, which is not so good. But like I say, I weren't a numbers game, I wanted them big fish. So I had a good go, and now I know if I sit down there on a big bait, I probably could get a good, uh, good chance of a big fish. And I'll do it a bit more often. But I know I, I must have had sort of 15, 20 fish, yeah, 15 to 20 fish a day. And I brought a couple of them to the camera to show you, just to show you what I was bringing in. Mainly roach and a few rudd and yeah that's what we've done so appreciate you coming in for watching thanks very much uh hello to all the new subscribers i'm getting plenty of new subscribers at the moment and i'll see you all soon in another live or another video i'm planning on getting out tomorrow so i'll be out and about my boat tomorrow and see what we can do in that i might take a rod with me and have a little dabble with that as well and see if there's any fish about but i'm gonna go for a cruise on it and see what's what in a new area we ain't been to, yeah, been to before so we'll work it out as we do but for now it's seven o'clock and i'm off to get some nice dinner a nice hot chocolate get all washed up and then i'll probably be in a chat talking to everyone later like i normally do <laughs> so cheers everyone for coming in and i'll see you all soon Uh...